Hey, what's good? I'm professional skill instructor, Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, I'm gonna teach you a few tricks and tips to snag more rebounds. All right, so rebounding is incredibly important. It's one of those aspects that a lot of players don't really, you know, realize is so important to the game. And the more rebounds you can pull down, the more playing time you're gonna get, and the more your coach is gonna wanna keep you on the floor. But before we jump into the tricks and tips, this video is brought to you by my guys over at Victory Performance Insoles. Victory is a revolutionary insole technology that helps athletes run faster, jump higher, and train smarter. Whether you're looking to increase your performance or enhance your injury protection, Victory insoles are the perfect product. Made out of premium materials like aerospace grade carbon fiber, they give athletes better shock absorbing and even better energy return for spring and bounce. All right, so for Shot Mechanics viewers, they're running a special where if you click the top link description down below, you're gonna get $50 off instantly if you use the coupon code Shot Mechanics. And for anybody who purchases, I'm gonna give a free copy of my custom shot design, my one of a kind revolutionary shooting system to help every athlete find their perfect jump shot. And we're gonna do it even one better for you to make sure you can become that explosive scorer. I put together a free explosive scoring workout. All you gotta do is click the second link description down below to get it 100% free and instant access today. Now, when it comes to rebounding, the very first kind of most important thing is timing, right? A lot of the best rebounders and kind of the elite ones in the NBA and, you know, throughout history, guys like Dennis Rodman and that sort of thing, they're players that can really time their rebound perfectly and really get it at its highest point to maximize their vertical leap as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on a little drill. So my guy Amaro here is going to have his outside foot on the block and I'm gonna be the passer on this side. Now, if you don't have a passer, you can actually do this yourself by throwing it off the backboard, but it's not quite as great as the timing because it works a little bit better if you've got somebody else to do it. So for this, all we're gonna do is I'm gonna start on this side. I'm gonna throw him a pass off the backboard. He's gonna go up and try to secure it with two hands at the top of his jump, right? So here we're, we're really working on that timing. He's trying to get up as high as he can and get it at the peak of the rebound coming back down. Once he gets a board, he's gonna do a put back, finish it back at the hoop. I'm gonna get it out of the net. We're gonna switch sides, do the same thing back and forth. So again here, the whole key is he's going up for big timing, bam, put it back in. Now we're switching sides. Same thing going opposite, same thing going opposite. Going up this way, boom, coming back to him. Love it, timing, other side. We'll do it one more time, one more time. Really go up and secure that two hands here. Bam, tough one, go get it. Good stuff. That's a phenomenal drill to work on your timing. And again, you can do it. If you don't have a basketball, you can do this at home. You can throw it off the wall. You can do it pretty much anywhere, but really work on going up and getting the ball as high as you can, because the more you work on that timing, the more rebounds you're gonna pull down. All right, so the next thing you wanna think about when you're trying to rebound is the direction of the shot. Now, this is something that's super, super important, and some of the best rebounders on the planet always think about, but what most people don't even realize. And it's basically just as simple as this. If we're getting a jump shot on one side, so let's say he's getting ready to pull up over on that side, and maybe I'm in the middle, I'm jostling for the rebound, most of the time, or the majority of the time, a rebound's gonna end up going towards the opposite side, right? Maybe he misses short and it comes back to the same side, but the majority of the time you wanna play those percentages, it's gonna go long. So I can't tell you how many times I see it, somebody takes a jump shot, and then the offensive rebounder swims to the same side as the shot, and then all of a sudden it goes the opposite direction, right? So no matter if you're defensive rebounding or offensive rebounding, always play the back side of the shot more than the front side of the shot. So when in doubt, if he's getting ready to shoot, instead of going to the same side, I'm going to try to position my body to the opposite side because the percentages say that the ball's gonna go long or off the backside more often. So what you find out is once you start thinking about just this tip alone, you can get three, four more rebounds a game pretty easily just by playing the percentages. It's just as easy as that. So no matter where he's shooting, I just wanna try to position myself to the opposite side of the basket. All right, so the next tip that'll really help you, and this is probably the number one that's gonna really kind of separate you from a rebounding standpoint, is holding your box out or your block out, right? So we've all heard of a box out or block out. Coaches yell it all the time, they practice it, they do it. But the biggest mistake that a lot of players make here is that they don't hold it long enough. Uh, so what ends up happening is like, let's say there's a shooter on the opposite side. I'm guarding my man over here and the shot goes up. What a lot of players do is they hit this box out really quickly, maybe for just a, like, a, like a half second, and then they just run straight to the basket. And by doing that, it allows him to come up my back and he can time the, the rebound instead of me, right? So he can go up and he can get it over my back. He can maybe tip it out to a teammate, et cetera, so forth. So what you need to do is try to hold this box out for even just a little bit longer than you feel like you should, right? So as you come out and you hit this box out, instead of just touching him and going, I'm gonna try to keep contact until the ball hits the rim and it starts to come off, right? I wanna maintain that box out for as long as I can. Now, the biggest key here is, most players are gonna to wanna to face guard for a little bit before they actually box out. A lot of old school you know, rebounding technique will tell you like, you gotta hit them, and then you sit low like this, and then you stay in front of them and move it out. Like, 
dudes are athletic nowadays. Like turning your back to them and going like this and trying to like slide a box them out, almost impossible. So what I would recommend instead is getting a little forearm to the chest right here, seeing the ball out of your corner of your eye, and then as soon as it starts coming off, we're still holding this box out. Now I can go get it once it's starting to come off instead of going too early and allowing him to have the timing, right? Make sure when it comes to rebounding, it's all about tempo. Go get it on your terms, not theirs, right? If you can hold that box out longer and use a forearm to do it rather than your butt, it's going to be a lot easier. All right, if you're ready to maximize your performance, don't forget click the top link in the description down below and instantly get $50 off your pair of Victory Performance insoles. And what I'm doing for anybody who purchases, all you have to do is forward your email receipt to info at shopmechanics.com. I'm going to give you a free copy of my custom shop design. It's $197 value. I'm going to give it to you 100% free to help you maximize and build your own perfect jump shot. So really, it's a win-win. And if you're new to Shop Mechanics, make sure you hit that subscribe button, head to the comment section down below, leave a comment, let us know what sort of video breakdown you want to see next. And until next time, splash on.